Hey guys, it is time for our December Shop My Stash, or my December Shop My Stash. I hope you're doing it too with your own stuff because it's super fun and I'm really enjoying it and I think you will too. But I just started putting a couple Christmassy things up in my background. This is nowhere where it's going to stay because these palettes are going to change right here and everything. But um, I just wanted to throw some of that stuff up real quick so we have a little bit of Christmassy stuff back there as we get ready to go through everything here. So as I've been doing lately, I'm going to run through my November products, let you know what I thought of them, if there's anything I'm getting rid of or whatever, and then we will choose the December products together. So um, let's just hop right into it. No particular order. We're just going to start grabbing. So I will grab these first. This is my Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I had medium tan and light medium, which I mix. I do mostly medium tan and just a slight bit of light medium, which I actually just ended up going and buying another one of these like last week. So spoiler alert. I'm loving them and keeping them still my absolute favorite like base face products so those are staying the Becca um what is this called Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder I don't think you can get this anymore um since Becca's gone out of business unless it's one of the products that one of the other brands picked up I don't know I don't even pay any attention to all that I don't love it enough to care <laughs> So we'll just put it that way. If it was something that I was like, oh my gosh, I fell in love with this. Is there a possible way I can get this from somewhere? Well, then I might care about looking, but it's okay. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I have it on right now and it's just, it's okay. So I'm not going to get rid of it, but I wouldn't say I like, you know, love it or anything either. The Merit, um, what are these called? Perfecting Complexion Stick. And this is in Dune. I actually have this on today. And I have on the Becca powder with it. Um, I still like it. I don't like the combination that I did. I did it with the Becca um, Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. Something about the way this plays with this, I don't like. It is too, like, if you can see, it kind of, like, separates into So I don't love that. So, um... I still, I love this and I really like this with other products. I just don't like the two of them together, but that's okay. That's why playing around with stuff that I know what I can mix and match. So I'm not trying to get ready to go somewhere and mix and match something that shouldn't be, you know? Okay. The Merit um, Volumizing Pomade, and this is in black brown for your brows. Have it on today. I like it. I am going to keep it. And I have it paired with the Hourglass um, Arch Brow Pencil and love this pencil but I will not repurchase it because hourglass and especially for a brow pencil no it's the only hourglass product I own so it makes me you know feel real bougie to have it but yeah I love it but I there's no way I would repurchase it um the Moira signature ombre blusher in ruby flush love it it's been a shade that I've really enjoyed wearing all month so very happy to have that physician's formula butter bronzer and this is just in bronzer like the original shade love it amazing love the smell i gotta open it up and smell it it's like a crime to pick this up and not open it up and smell it i'm pretty sure so um and speaking of that the soul um face and body bronzing balm this is in medium i have this on today and um same with this you have to smell it it's like like a rule if you pick this up you have to smell it oh my gosh so good both very like tropical kind of smells but not the same smell but wonderful so yes I have that on today thoroughly enjoy it I also have on today the Merit um cheek color in Beverly Hills and I really like that too it's a really good color and then the eye method natural looking rocks all over face blush face blush color <laughs> And this is an 01 First Love Matte Nude Pink, and I really like it too, so I will keep that. The Ciate London Confetti Highlighter looks like this. Absolutely love this. Used it a ton this month, so yep, definitely keeping that. The It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. His SPF 50, all great. When I went to use this, if you may remember in the video, I realized as I showed it, that it expired in February of this this year, of 2022. So I was like, oh great. It looked terrible on my skin. It broke all up and looked so nasty. So I found another one that I had that was newer and I tried that, same thing. And it wasn't out of date and it did the same thing. So I think it just does not work well with my oils. So that's gotta go. Plus it's that one's expired, but I already threw the other one away too. Okay, the Laura Mercier 
um, translucent loose setting powder. People rave about this and love it. I, I don't, I'm not getting it. I'm not feeling it. So I am going to go ahead. I did not do much for keeping my oils at bay. And yeah, I just, I don't know. I didn't love it. People rave about it, but I don't like it. So I'm going to see if somebody else wants it. Um, the bro, or I'll go ahead and grab all my eyeliners together and we'll talk about those. Okay. These were all the eyeliners that I pulled for the month. Love the Serpent Decay one. Love my LA Girl Ultimate Eye. This is like a navy, yeah, never ending navy. Um, of course, my Essence Extreme, Extreme Lasting um, pencils. I mean, they'll probably be in every shot my stash because they're like my everyday, like tight line, my upper lash line. And then this one is for, you know, my waterline. But um, yeah, I just, they're fantastic. And so why would I ever not have them in here? So then I have But First Espresso also, which is just the brown. And then I have Mid Black Midnight Sky. Look how little it's getting. I have a backup. <laughs> yep, so that's that. Um, the Trey Loose Intenso Liner, this is in Grounded, which is a green, and I had pulled it for October and never used it, so I pulled it again for November to use. I did use this a couple times. I'm definitely discovering I do not like what I look like with dark in my waterline. It's just a no-go for me. I feel like as I'm getting older, it makes me look really old and, like, harsh and, like, I don't know. I just, I don't care for the look. And so, um, I do want to keep it, though, to try even just for, like, doing under the lower lash line and smudging or along the upper lash line. So I don't want to get rid of it. I just don't like it in the waterline at all. Um, the LA Girl Shockwave Metallic Liner in Gold Metal. That's what I have on today. I absolutely love it. Definitely preferring those lighter colors and like the little bit of a metallic. I've had this makeup on for over five hours now. So um, it, I can still see it. It still looks good. The uh, ColourPop in Punch. Love that one. Um, this Avon True Color and Sepia, Sepia, <laughs> I'll say it every dang time, you guys. And, um, yep, love that one. And then this was a new one to my stash from, um, I believe in Ipsy. It's the Prestige Waterproof Automatic Eyeliner in Bronze. And I used this a few times and loved that. The It Your Skin But Better Primer Oil Free. Um, I don't think it really does anything for me. I don't really care for it that much so I'm gonna let that go I've had it for a while anyway so I did I have used it several times um my wet and wild photofocus eyeshadow primer there is barely anything in here I can see through the packaging with the light to see how much is in there I mean it is just barely like I'm at the very end squeezing it but I don't want to waste it because it works really good and yes I do have like two backups still which is kind of freaking me out I this is so terrible, but I feel like I need to have like four backups at all times of this stuff because I'm so afraid of them discontinuing it and I love it so much. So um, I'll probably pick up a couple because I have an Ulta gift card and after Christmas I plan to use it. And so I'll probably pick up a couple. But anyway, love this stuff. It's never going anywhere, obviously. Now, in other news, the, the Beauty Crap Stuck On You eyeshadow primer. Oh my goodness. If you did not see the video where I used this and then showed what it looked like later. I'll link it up here for you. Horrible. This stuff is does not work at all for me. If you've used this, because I got an Ipsy, so I know other people got it too. If you have this and you've used it, let me know if it works for you. I've tried just putting it on, then doing my shadow. I've tried putting it on and patting like a base shadow over it or dusting it with powder, um, you know, to try to set it. It creases so bad, it completely destroys my makeup look. So I would never, ever, ever use this if I'm going somewhere. Like it was fine to film a video with it and that was it. No, no. The Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape, and this one is in this concealer and it is in light sand. Love it. This is so good. So very happy to have that. Um, the LYS Aim High Multi-Use Liquid Highlighter in Brave. Absolutely beautiful, very natural highlight. You saw me use it in a video, love it. The Grande Glow Pumping Liquid Highlighter in French Pearl, absolutely beautiful, love that too. Um, the Koki Eyebrow Pencil in Dark Brown, I think you saw me use that in a video too, it might have been the same one, actually it was with the 
eyeshadow that went awry from that primer. Um, this is too warm for me, but my youngest sister has her hair dyed like a really spicy, like red kind of color. And I think it will go perfect for her. So I'm going to go ahead and give that one to her. And then you re may remember me talking about um, the mascara that I had pulled and how it came out like this. So it obviously wasn't usable. So I held on to it to be able to just, you know, finish this month's video outright but obviously it's going in the garbage <laughs> and then the other mascara I've been using is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara you guys I love this mascara I have it on right now it's fantastic it's expensive this is just a trial size one these are so expensive or maybe a deluxe whatever it is but um be watching because I have a video coming because I'm trying to find a replacement for this that's cheaper so keep an eye out if you're interested in that. But I obviously have very oily skin. A lot of um, mascaras then will transfer up here on my um, eyelids or transfer down underneath. And the Thrive Cosmetics does not transfer anywhere because it's a tubing mascara. So it doesn't flake anywhere. It has been fantastic. So I'm like, I have to find another mascara like this because I have some like waterproof mascaras that are eh, okay but they don't really do for me what I want as far as what my lashes look like and so it's like just because they're I mean I'm glad that they don't transfer then but they still aren't my jam you know but this is so so keep an eye out okay and then we are to the palettes I believe yes so we have the Nomad by Juvia's this Gorgeous palette. Love it. Used it a ton of times. I actually did several times where I did um, just a little bit of this, like on the outer edge right here. And then I took this shade right here and I went over top of that so it wasn't super dark and blended it over into the crease and just kind of blew it out, you know, up kind of high. And then on my lid, um, a couple times I did just this, like it's kind of got a little, a tiny bit of sparkle to it that you lose. I use it with my finger though and tap it on so you keep a little bit of that sparkle. Um, but if I didn't do that, I did this shade in the middle just on the lid. So a very simple look. Um, I did that quite a few times and really enjoyed that. The Ace Beauté Flare Palette. I'm so glad I pulled this this month. Looks like this. Again, one of my favorite looks I did this month was literally just this shade. Transition everywhere and this on the lid. I didn't deepen it up or anything. That's what I did and I loved it. I also used this shade several times this month with some of this brown as an accent there. And then I did pull um, a shimmer from a different palette. But yes, loved using that. You obviously saw me use the America's Parks palette. Well, if you watched the video. <laughs> um, and I think, did I use the, I think I used the Nomad palette in a different video I did a look with. I don't remember for sure. I'm pretty sure the first look I did. Um, so this one, obviously a beautiful palette. You saw me use those greens and um, I used these, this yellow right here is beautiful. I used that quite a few times. Um, and this one up here, I actually did a look with these three right here that I really liked. Just really pretty like fall kind of, you know, look. And so keeping it simple with not like several colors in one look, but you know, that's just what I've been into. And then the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. And this one I also used quite a few times this month. And it looks like this. I thoroughly enjoyed these lighter shimmers. Um, this one and, where is it? Oh, actually Hayride. And this one, I would do this like on the outer, you know, third after my dark on the outer corner. Then I would do this hayride color and then this color right here. It was so pretty. There, I just had so many looks this month that I really felt very pretty when I wore them. And I mean, isn't that what you want when you put on makeup? And once I got like a couple of looks that I did that I was like, oh, I really love this. I repeated them a few times because then I knew if it was something that I was kind of in a hurry or whatever, I knew I could do that look again really quick and I would be happy with it when I walked out the door. So that is a little recap of the products that I used for November. So as you saw, I'm getting rid of a few things that just did not work for me. Some things need to be thrown away. Some things I will see if my sisters or my mom want. And um, other than that, the other things are going back in my drawer that I will use for 
you know, future. Um, but I will move these over into another container while I go to pick our newest products over here. So, uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and get into that. And um, I will probably just end off the video like I've been doing at the end, just showing you what the rest of what I'm going to be using um, for December. So let me know what you guys think of the products I used for November. And um, I'm excited about December. I already have my mind going with a couple of eyeshadow palettes and other palettes, my face palettes. So let's get into it. Okay, so away we go. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to stick that in. Um, I found I was going through my um, backup, like makeup kind of bin in my um, linen closet since I've been getting rid of some things over the past few months. So I thought, well, that gives me a chance to pull in some things that were in this backup bin. So this is one of the things that was in there, this um, replenishing face primer, um, Too Faced. And so I'm going to go ahead and use this as a face primer for this month. That will be fun. But I am also going to pull my Sephora um, matte one as well, since it's one that I know I like. Look how terrible that tube looks. That's what happens when you love your makeup and it's all jumbled together. All right. Then for face products, I am going to go ahead. I am going to pull this again because I know I really love it. And when I know how I want my face to look, <laughs> I want this. <laughs> so that's why I'm pulling it. Now, as far as another one, I don't really have, those are not really, it's really between these two again. And I guess, what was the last one I had? I think the Wander Beauty one was the one I used most recently. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the L'Oreal one and um, go ahead and use that as my other base, face base. And then, back here, I have this... Like a light shifter finishing veil. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and see, see what the deal is with it. And then for other powder, I am going to go ahead and use, um, what's this? I think I better be smart about what I'm doing just because like with Christmas and stuff I want to look nice. So I am going to pull my Cody Earspun that I know is like my tried and true. And then should I pull a third one though just for fun? Maybe I will. I'll go ahead and pull the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Powder. A lot of people really love that too. So we'll give that a try. And then what else? So as far as besides my Wet n Wild is this or is this a concealer i ended up figuring out yeah um so do i have another eyeshadow primer oh i do okay. i have this urban decay primer potion so i will go ahead and pull that out so for concealer i will go ahead and pull this winky lux um peeper perfect and then i better pull something that i know i won't hate so i will pull this cokey be bright and light also, you'll always notice, I, I think I mentioned this in the last one, I always have this Urban Decay All Nighter. I do not use this every day because it has um, alcohol in it and it can dry out your skin and stuff. So I really just use it if I know like I'm going out somewhere and I want my makeup to last all night, um, that kind of thing. And I like it in the summer like when I'm like getting ready to go somewhere all day because it helps keep things in check. Okay, I'm excited about this drawer. So I think for bronzer... I'm going to pull my LYS bronzer. I'm trying to open it up here to show you. It's hard to do things with one hand. There we go. Looks like this. So that is in the shade Motivate. It's their light bronzer. And then I'm also going to pull hmm, there's something else. Else. There's something I had in mind. I think I'm going to I'm going to pull my Too Faced Natural Face and let me open that up and I'll show it to you. So that looks like this. Here is the inside. It's absolutely beautiful and it's 
shimmery and I just feel like it will be pretty like that pink wink that bright kind of pink for sun or for winter rather and stuff but then also like the little more mauve with like the pink sand and stuff um sunny honey is a bronzer I just feel like this will be a fun palette to play with for this time of year and then because I always do like a little bit of like a more peachy blush I'm gonna pull this tart Amazonian clay um in quirky which has been like one of my favorite blushes for a very long time but I actually haven't used it in a really long time so I'm excited to have it out for this month and then for highlight I am gonna pull my Essence Pure Nude just because I know I love it and then I also am going to pull this Michaela Glam Light highlight I just feel like that would be a fun one to have I don't know why I still have that little paper in there we're just gonna that right out but look at the sparkle it just looks wintry and fun so yeah and here comes the eye drawer <laughs> so I'm going to use my elf brow pencil I will pull again let's see do I have another brow pencil I could use I use my judges and a different one I'll try this Lottie um, arch rival in dark brown I'll go ahead and stick that in for my other brow product Or brow like mascara type things I will go ahead and pull this um, I can't say it but groom and sculpt tinted brow gel and truffle I got that in an ipsy I believe so I will go ahead and pull that and then I'll go ahead and pull my next two because I can probably try to use this up before it uh, dries out or something funky now I definitely want to get into some fun stuff back here because for the holidays I love to do some gold, um, you know, like glitter and stuff like that. So I am going to actually pull both of these Urban Decay um, Heavy Metal liners in Midnight Cowboy and Starfire because I love that. Okay, and then four liners here. Sorry, my stomach just growled. Um, I am going to pull this gold again because I think I will really like that with, you know, Christmassy looks that I'm going to be doing. Um, what else? Let's pull my typical essence ones, like I mentioned, um, would be back in here. That's not it. <laughs> here we go. And then, um, let's see what else do we have. I'm gonna pull this one in plum because I just feel like that could be a really pretty like gold and plum kind of color for um, you know Christmassy type looks. I guess we should pull some maybe like green kind of ones. So I will pull this color pop one in teaspoon. And I'll pull this next one. And what is that in? Esmeralda. I'll also pull like this maroon kind of one. I want to say it's Joyride. It's not in there anymore. I think that's what it's called. And yeah, we'll go with those. Ooh, and I definitely have to pull my house labs. I've got some of the um, liquid shimmer powders. And this one is in Dynasty. So that's a really cool like emerald green. So that seems like a must. This is the all over metallic cream and chains. So it's like a gold but almost a little bit more of an antique gold so that seems fun so we'll go with those and then for mascara I have as you can see ones that I pulled out from my stash in there um let's go with bad gal bang I haven't used that in a really long time it used to be like my favorite mascara but I haven't used it in a very long time so let's try that and I'm gonna pull a few Let's do this Anastasia Beverly Hills mascara and which other one? 
How about this Rhode Isle Extreme Lash Maximizer? Yeah, so we'll do those three. I also am going to pull this NYX Glitter Glue. Hint, hint, I have some plans for at least one palette that is in my thoughts that will need this. So, so let's head to palettes. I feel like this is a no-brainer, obviously, the That Time of Year palette by Gourmand Girls, because my cousin Debbie, Debbie Tom, she collaborated on this along with Senia, who is a friend of mine, and Riri, the Brutally Honest Beauty, and so um, I definitely want to pull this back out. And if you don't know, Debbie is back. She has made a comeback, so she will not be on as much as she used to be, but she's still back, and I'm happy about it, so definitely make sure you head over if you didn't know that. So let's pull that palette for sure. And I wanted to go ahead and show you the inside of that palette too. So that is what she looks like. Aha, this is going to be a gold mine right here. Okay, I actually just pulled this down into this drawer because um, I have these three, um, the original three Kaleidos Futurism palettes. I keep them in their box um, that they came in when I first got them, like the set. And it sits on top of where I like decorate with stuff. Like it is under <laughs> the snow right here. And so I knew I would want to be using this. So I pulled this out earlier. So let me get it out to be able to show you. And I wouldn't usually keep the sleeve in, but that tells me the colors. But I just think this will be really pretty with like that infrared and stuff. Um, that plasma, that silver for some really pretty Christmas looks. So I definitely wanted to pull this palette. Now I also know there are some other palettes in here that I definitely want to use. Um, let's see. I am thinking, I mean, look at this. Does this palette not just scream Christmas to you, like with the artwork on it? It just feels like it's wrong if you don't use it around Christmas time. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's wrong. So let me go ahead and open this up and show you the colors that are in here. So same thing there. The shades are on the little sheet, so that's why I keep it. But so beautiful not like super in your face christmas but like with that green and that pinky red down in the middle down there absolutely beautiful so yes admittedly the first palette that came to my mind for this month was this pat mcgrath labs mothership mega celestial divinity palette that my friend maureen sent to me um two years ago for christmas i mean you guys come on look at this and this is where the glitter glue is going to come in because you have to use glitter glue with this or it will end up all over your face if you don't mind that that's fine but if you just use glitter glue it just it makes everything fine now you will notice in here there are three mattes and they are very pink toned that bottom one in the middle kind of is like very pink and then the one over on the left there in the middle is like a you know magenta kind of pink and then up at the top there is a brown but it tends to lean pink as well so I think the reason I haven't reached this a whole lot is because of the lack of mats that can go with it. So I am going to remedy that by pulling this Viseart all matte palette because that gives me some really good neutral mats and even like these really pretty like cool tones um, to be able to use with those shimmers. And I feel like that is going to make magic happen. And so I feel like those palettes will give me enough variation for the month. Um, especially because this Pat McGrath one has so many different colors in it with the different shimmers. So I can do very neutral looks, but I can also do really fun festive looks and have a good color variety. So I think that's going to be perfect. And then along with all of these products that I pulled. So as always, at the beginning of every month, I am so excited to start getting into these new products after using, you know, a select group the month before. So keep watching because there's definitely going to be a video. Let me know in the um, comments down below if there is a certain palette you want to see a look with first. Please let me know that so that I can go ahead and record that for you. All right. I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.